all you've said, how you succeeded in accomplishing it. Well, my senior year of high school, I had the goal of becoming the best golfer in the Cincinnati Hills League. To accomplish this, I knew I had to set, a, set aside a lot of time to practice and to also enter a lot of golf tournaments over the summer. Um, in the summer between my junior and senior year, I also ran my own lawn and service business, so I knew I had to manage my time very well. Um, I set a standard to play or practice at least five times a week. Um, this w was anywhere from going to the driving range to playing 18 holes or taking a lesson um, at Kenwood Country Club. Um, my daily routine was getting up early to golf or to cut grass in the afternoon or the other way around. Um, I also entered numerous golf tournaments throughout the summer and this helped me um, to work my game under pressure and tight situations. Um, I managed to work very hard over the summer when the fall season came around. Um, I led my team to the district tournament and when the season was over I reached my goal of becoming the player of the year in the Cincinnati Hills League. Describe a situation when you were able to have a positive influence on the actions of others. Um, oh, at my work over the summer at the Alcohol Ta Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, um, we had to, me and eight other interns had to work together to complete the task of transferring their paper file room to an online virtual file room. Um, during this task, we had to cooperate together to get this done and perform the various tasks needed, such as scanning, um, patching all the files, rearranging all the files, and then scanning them onto the um, internet. And one kid uh, was really struggling with this part of doing the patch sheet in between the um, different parts of the file. So I went out of my way and I time out of my day to help him out and to really tell him that we needed him involved as well because this was a group effort and without his, um, without his work we wouldn't be able to get it done. So my boss saw me doing this, um, taking time out of my work to help him out and in the end um, he really got better at it and uh, we got the job completed so it all worked out very well. Tell about a time when you failed to meet a goal. Um, well, a time when I failed to meet a goal was when I was 12 years old and me and my dad and one of his friends went on a backpacking trip um, to the Tetons in Wyoming. And we had the goal of uh, climbing Middle Teton, which is a 13,000 foot mountain. And for the three days uh, prior to that, we did a 20 mile hike and to get our legs warmed up and to get um, a little bit acclimated to the climate and stuff. Um, after that, we were ready to achieve our goal, so we hiked up our first day for eight hours and set up our base camp. And then the next day, we set off to um, get to the summit. Uh, about three hours after uh, we set out, we stopped at the, we stopped and looked around and saw that the weather was changing a little bit and in the mountains. It's not good to be um, up high, especially when storms are coming. So we decided that we'd keep going for a little bit more. And after another hour, we were all pretty tired, and we saw that the weather was getting pretty bad. So we decided that we had to um, abandon our goal and turn around and head back. Um, we really didn't, didn't want to do this because of all the hard work and effort we put to get that far. But in the end, we, we made a smart decision, and uh, we turned around. And we didn't get to complete our goal, but uh, two years later we actually came back and we were in better shape and we had better weather, so we actually uh, got to the top two years later, so we completed our goal in the end. And why should I hire you? Um, Farmers Insurance should hire me because I feel like I'd be an excellent fit um, in the company with my outgoing personality, my communication, organization, and leadership skills. Um, I also like how the internship position goes through the whole um, aspect of farmers insurance and shows how the whole company is run. Uh, for, the fir for the first two weeks working in the marketing department, I feel like my communication skills um, developed from contacting CEOs on a daily basis at the T2B. I feel like that really come into play because uh, we, will, we have to organize over 50 events for the company in a small period of time. 
And during this time, we'll be contacting people to set up the events and make sure everything is um, in place and ready to go. Also, my organizational skills will come into play here because, I mean, when you're managing, when you're organizing 50 events, you need to really make sure that you have everything organized and um, you know where everything's at. Um, also, during the two weeks, I do calls um, for the leads that the agents had received at the events. I feel like I'll really be ready for this because um, of my developed phone skills at the TTB. I feel like I have a professional um, voice on the phone and really know what I'm doing. Um, also, um, on the two weeks when I follow around a sales agent, I feel like I have the skills because I'm a very good listener and uh, can catch on very fast. Also, with my people skills shown by meeting others through golf and various activities, I'll be able to perform the skills of picking up leads for potential customers. And um, the position for just doing tasks around the office, I feel like I'm very qualified for this because at the TTB I've um, did multiple tasks, just helping out the specialists whenever they needed. And um, from working at the TTB, I had all these different uh, jobs, and along with my hard work ethic shown through summer and lot of business, um, I feel like I have the qualification to um, be a good candidate for this position. And do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, can you tell me about um, what you enjoy most about working in this company? Thanks for your time, Doug. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs>